being able to blend in is a green flag. It's a green flag. Hmm? It's a green flag. What do you think a green flag is? Good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, do you get you, you figure more now like what we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, 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 Okay, welcome to the bracket episode 109. Today we are debating, uh, we're going to call it the biggest red flags in women, followed by the biggest red flags in men next week. You uh, love, you got to keep those back to back. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, for sure. Because I think like, if I just do one and I left it that way, it would be really bad. Unless I just did the men one first. But I got to back to back these ones. Uh, but for this entry of it, we have Fights on, we have Jack Mac on, and we have Rudy on. KB out sick. Uh, Tommy will be in here in a minute. Interesting crew. Uh, the misogyny is going to go nuts on this one. Jesus. It's mm-hmm. going to be... I don't, you don't even want to know some of these options that are coming up, but you actually do. They're going to be fun. Uh, nothing too crazy, I don't think. But are you guys excited? Very excited. Excited to, so? to bash the opposite sex? I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's honestly not that bad. And like, I, even when I posted the topic, some people were like, uh, oh, it's fucking red flag when like a woman can't cook. It's none of that shit. No. It's none of that it's shit. It's like funny stuff. It's actually funny stuff. Uh, and like ones that I think are legitimate, like when you hear them and you, when you're still in the dating pool, you, you're kind of like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of that. And it'll be fun to do that next week. Next week, we'll have some women on for that. Um, so yeah, let's just get right to it. Okay, before we get to those options, let's talk about BetterHelp. The bracket is brought to you by BetterHelp. You know, around New Year's, we all get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of expanding on what we're already doing right. Maybe you finally organize one part of your space, or maybe you want to tackle another. Maybe you're ta- taking supplements every morning and you want to know, maybe actually eat breakfast this time. Therapy helps you find your strengths that you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that actually stick, which is huge around New Year's. Everyone goes to the gym for the one week or they do the thing that they wanted to change for the one week and then they revert back the next week. Look. BetterHelp helps a lot. I talk about them all the time when I used them over COVID. It was incredible because you get to use them without having to physically go to a doctor's office, which is great. Uh, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Celebrate the progresses you've already made. Visit BetterHelp.com lights and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash lights lights first option of the day five versus the 12 the five seed is <laughs> when a woman is being too nice to me when a woman yeah, is, something's up s- yeah <laughs> something very interesting is going on when a woman is no being too it's just nice. she wants to go talk to rudy and she's too afraid <laughs> <laughs> she just really wants to talk to rudy yeah. uh and that's going up against the number 12 seed a very pointed and specific one um, frequent Miami trips, specifically <laughs> to <laughs> Fontaine Blue. Fontaine, yeah. What's what is? Can someone explain Fontaine Blue? Well, that's a hotel, but uh, I think Eleven's in it or Live. I think Eleven's in Fontaine Blue. What's a, what's Eleven a club? Yeah, that's Gaz's like home. Oh, is, oh god. Ele- club, Eleven's like a club slash strip club. If like, she's yeah, in okay. the vicinity like, of Gaz, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah like, like Gaz <laughs> ran Eleven. Oh, I'm okay. pretty sure that's Eleven's in Fontaine Blue. Okay, so frequent trips to Miami versus uh, being way too nice to me. Let's start with you, Rudy. Uh, yeah, the the Fountain Blue was my submission. If if you are dating someone and she goes to the Fountain Blue, it's curtains. Really? Yeah, it's wraps. What's happening? Nothing good. Is she cheating? <laughs> good for her, bad for you. Hold on, I gotta call my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I only I only put Fountain Blue in there because I had a friend that had. He called me and he's like, "Dude, she's on a trip, girls trip." She's at the Fountain Blue. And I'm like, what the, What does that mean? And he's like, dude, the Fountain Blue, nothing good happens in the Fountain Blue. And that relationship did, in fact, end. And the Fountain Blue was... She, ground, did she cheat on him? Ground zero. Yeah. Ground zero. Damn. The Fountain Blue. So the, the, um, I have no issue with women being nice to me. In fact, I prefer it. Um, <laughs> being I, too uh, nice to you. Was yeah. The, no, that's, that's cool with me. I'm fine with that. Um, I definitely would take the uh, Fountain Blue as the bigger red flag. Okay. Have I missed any matchups? Just no. the first. This is the first one. Uh, che, I'm not familiar with Fountain Blue, but I understand the like aura of that, and just traveling Miami is a big nightlife. It's it's like Vegas for women, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with that. That's an astute observation, uh, Nick. Relationships are built on trust, fellas. And uh, if my girl wants to go to Miami, go. I'll pay. <laughs> um, but if you're being too nice to me, you, I don't deserve that. 
uh, so you, why are you doing this? What are you hiding? That's when you, that's when trust is broken. Being too nice. Being too nice fights. Yeah. Um, the being too nice is a red flag, but I recognize that's for me personally. Cause I, like, I'm like, I, I think that's what and I hate huh? ourselves. That's yeah. what this is. No, but I, it, it's like, it, it's, it's an internal thing where I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why do you like me? Yeah. The, I, it's a red flag for her when dude i was in i was in martha's vineyard like last month in december and i went to a store and there was a, a sweater they sell like one of those big Kobe mm-hmm. sweat cozy sweaters and it had mvy ack uh sgh jck mia what? On oh boy it. and it was just all three in that and i was like or all five in the three letters it was it was martha's vineyard nantucket uh, Jackson Hole, Jackson Hole, Sag Harbor. That's man. crazy. Jackson Hole in that is crazy. <laughs> I was like, if she's going to Jackson, I almost, I almost submitted like she goes to Aspen or Jackson Hole. Yeah, it was like I was like, if anyone, if I, I ever saw someone in the sweatshirt, I'd be like, you are. It's not even. It's like I'm just, you're so out of my league and so mm-hmm. in a different category that since MIA is on that sweatshirt, I got to put Miami on there. Three for Miami, Jack or, or a sweater. I would say if she was being too nice, it would be. I would almost think she didn't like me. So I wouldn't even say that's a red flag. I would just be like, oh, it, you're almost being a friend. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Then, but for uh, Miami, and that's where Liv is, not Eleven. Um, I would also add if she goes to Club Space after Fountain <laughs> Blue, which is the – so Miami's <laughs> so special that it goes – you go, like, Liv, then you go to Eleven at, like, 2, and then Club Space at, like, 4 or 4.30. Club and Space. Then, yeah. yeah, but if she's there, she's not fucking something. somebody in a hotel room. Uh, but here's the – That's true. No, no, but – I'm just saying, uh, the night doesn't end. The, the hotel room could start at 7:30 in the morning. Yeah, you, you're you're understanding a different world where there's business hours. Mm. Yeah, Those yeah. Rules, <laughs> there's, there's so, but there's uh, no yeah, time Miami. dilation in in Miami. It doesn't work Shit. the same here. Yeah, uh, Tommy. But what is the exact matchup? Uh, it's been a woman is too nice to you versus they go on frequent trips to Miami. So oh, when she's too blue. nice. When okay. she's too nice. That's like, I, I would say a girl has to be like Goldilocks towards me. Don't be too nice. Don't be too mean. <laughs> but be right in the middle. But if she's too nice, it's like, yeah, what's your A angle? girl has to be like Goldilocks for you. Like she has to be 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's the Tommy, love porridge. Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> she's perfect for me, man. She's 12. She loves porridge. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, too, too. No, I, I don't like too nice. Too nice. Uh, that's gonna move on, or rather, the Miami trips are gonna move on. Now we have the four versus the thirteen. The four seed is being genuinely into astrology or numerology or anything along those lines. Uh, I feel like that's one like guys t- tend to rip on a ton. Um, and I do think that there's a different level. Like, some, I feel like there's girls that are just like into it, and that's mm-hmm. whatever. But then there are girls that live and die by it, and that's like a different type of thing. Uh, and that's going up against the number 13 seed, which is uh, <laughs> having dirty white sneakers. <laughs> having really dirty white sneakers, nasty-ass white sneakers. Tommy? Uh, I don't care about that. I don't look at what is on a girl's feet. I look at what is underneath her shirt. <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. But uh, not really. Uh, I, I, uh, only a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, what was the first one again? Uh, being genuinely into astrology. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. Like that... My compatibility test, if you're into astrology, then we're not compatible. But that's, not compatible. that's the start and end of the compatibility What's test. What's your like, sign, Tommy? I'm a Taurus. Taurus, me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's right. Stubborn as an ox. Your birthday's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours is like the day. Your birthday's the day after mine, right? 28th, are you? I'm the 29th. 20, I'm 27th, yeah. Uh, Jack. It's a that and just that's a mental disorder. Yeah. If you're like legitimately very into astrology or something, you have a mental disorder. <laughs> yeah. So. I think the this 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 matchup is a great matchup because it's both are so common. Mm. Um, the dirty white sneakers. I feel like every girl has a pair of dirty white sneakers, specifically that they go out in. Now, I mean, I guess if you want like the perfect trad wife to bring up like alpha male Twitter that doesn't go out, you could say, "Oh, if you have dirty white sneakers, I actually am fine with astrology." Uh, so I guess. <sighs> Uh, this like, is really tough one. Hmm. I think I people would think I would hate astrology, but I don't. Um, I, I guess I'll put astrology through. I'll, I'll vote for that. Mm, two for astrology fights. Um, I I don't have I, astrology. It's funny you just said it's very common. I I I almost think of astrology nowadays as almost like like vegan was, 
where mm, it was sure. talked about a lot, but I never really ran into it. And I, I, I've never had any experience with a, a girl or woman who's very into astrology. I have been punched in the face by a girl who wears dirty white sneakers. <laughs> um, that's, that's what the – I think I was the one who, who mm. said this. Dirty white sneakers is something we used to do when I was younger. we call girls from Quincy because they'd beat the shit out of you. <laughs> um, and – they were just, they would wear, they always, if a girl had dirty white sneakers, like you'd know if you guys got in an argument and you were dating, she was going to hit you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been hit. So I'm going to go dirty white sneakers on this one. <laughs> dirty white sneakers, two to one right now in favor of astrology. Nikki? I think astrology is cool. It's nice to believe in something. It's nice, you know, it's a hobby. Um, but if it does get to the point where it's just like, yeah, we're not meant to be. I'm supposed to be with a Sagittarius. Um, that's when it gets a little too far. Um, I'll go with that, but it's not a, it's not a, we- a world beater. It's not, it's not going to go too far in this tournament, I don't think. Mm-hmm. I, again, I think there's levels to it, right? Like, I think being casually into astrology is nothing crazy, but like the people yeah, I think who it's are cool. Like, I mean, it's existed for a long time. There's a cool history to it. Yeah, and it's nice to have a hobby. I think that like you could tell how how much they are into it based off certain terms they use, like yeah. when they rising genuinely... if they drop a rising. They, no, rising is normal. No, I think rising's next level. No, 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 no rising's about... not next level. Rising's like the like if you were one on one, it would be like the second class in one on one. Like that's I know like, that's probably like the fifth grades. text from every girl to a guy is like, "What time were you born to find your rising?" When you start yeah. talking rulers and yeah, and then houses descending and houses. That's the houses, oh, I don't know how they bring up houses. The then you're at a level. Yeah. Okay, so that's a different. That's the next level. Like, what is your eighth house? The, yeah, that for the astrology oh. is the most representative of anything for me. Where, like, if you are really hardcore about anything. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't. If you believe in anything, yeah. lights will not. What about, I'm not what about Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, yeah, seriously, what a fast. What about like sports? I mean, we have all stuff like this too. Uh, yeah, no, like that's. That, I, I typically don't really. If you're like crazy about it, like we usually don't hang out that much. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Uh, Trey, I don't have a problem with astrology. I think it is kind of cool. So uh, I feel like dirty white sneakers. I, I assume this is your suggestion. Fights. Yes. Has. Uh, the way you described it is very it's very niche to this one specific town or neighborhood in near Boston where girls would punch you. But I feel like it could be a more a more uh, systemic problem. But no, I think I think when I think of a woman wearing dirty white sneakers, it's like, oh, like maybe, you know, they're they that's a metaphor for like other parts of it that are just like kind of loose and like they don't really care about me. They're a messy person. Maybe they don't take what, care of themselves. Yeah, there's, would be there's, loose. There's a, there's, a dir- <laughs> there's a dirty white sneaker who works at Barstool Sports. Her name is Jackie Nichols. Yeah. <laughs> she is Damn. always. She's, she's constantly in dirty white sneakers. And she will hit you. What a shot. And does she Jack. have her life oh, together? I, mean, I tell her. She knows. She, she's, this is, she's not finding out just person. I feel yeah. like dirty white sneakers are kind of common though. I feel like dirty yeah, white sneakers are like, like I would almost I would almost put a red flag if you don't have a pair of dirty white. Yeah, because it means you don't like go yeah, out. Yeah, don't go out. Like to me, like my standard hot girl in New York City has a pair of a dirty white. Hundred percent. Yeah, but sometimes yeah, you no. want a red flag. It's not necessarily like I will never go near this woman. Sometimes you want a red flag. I just don't think it's a red flag. I think it's just like you know a woman is a purse. You're 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 not wrong. It is definitely uh, and and Che is correct as well. We're like it is a niche, different kind of thing. Um, and I can, I can see what you're saying that, that girls do have regular dirty white sneakers, and it's it's not a red. It's not where I'm like, no chance. Stay away from there. But yeah. uh, I, it's uh, something I notice, and that's probably some PTSD. Mm. I mean, you do kind of have. They're a little dirty. The dirty white a sneaker dirty mindset, maybe how the battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's yes. a different thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rudy, I'm, st- I'm going with fights. Thanks, Steve. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with this one because astrology girls, I view that as like a challenge. Like almost like they're they're like looking for what are they called space racism? <laughs> Bless you. I have no uh, idea. Looking for I'm what? looking. To, I'm looking. It's like taming a beast. It's almost like you're you're geared against me. I'm gonna defeat the stars. I view it as like a, yeah. It's you going to war against the cosmos. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And uh, I view it like a war of the titans, like Greek mythology. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I like crystal mommies. I like astrology bitches. <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna work out, but it's worth the it's worth it for the for the short term. I got no issue with dirty white sneakers. I think that's 
a totally normal trait. So I'm going to go with astrology being the bigger red flag. I kind of agree with you, Rudy, in that when they bring up an astrology trait and they're like, oh, like you're Taurus, you must be stubborn. Man, I do everything in my power to not be stubborn. I'm like, that's bullshit. And then I'll purposely be less stubborn and like, to fight it. Well, that's hey, stubborn. Wouldn't, wouldn't it. that be yeah. the most stubborn <laughs> yeah. thing? I'm like, purposely, she like she asked me an opinion, like to be like uh, movable on opinion. I'm like, I immediately move it. I'm like, I'm, I'm so stubborn that I'm, I'm spiteful of the stubbornness. You're such a Taurus. <laughs> that's just how it works. Uh, but yeah, so astrology is going to move on. Uh, next up, we have the number eight versus the nine seed. The eight seed is when they want to be an over the top mean girl, very specific oh. one. Uh, and that's versus the number nine seed, a very related one, but not necessarily totally the same as a mean girl, I guess. Uh, being very proud of having a bad attitude. So like, oh. and they're like, oh, I'm just a brat. I'm just a brat. Like, oh, that's this just is who top. I am. These are almost too similar. Yeah, to we me. could combine them, but I mean, combine I just, those. Yeah. We can combine them into one and we can throw in a chain option. To f Let's do that. All um, right. S yeah, number nine is just like every girl from Jersey or Long <laughs> Island I've ever yeah. met. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, and that's going up against the number. Let's say. Let's take one uh, from the chain game. We'll do cringy social media poster. How about that? Oof. Sure. Oof. Cringy social media poster uh, up against, we'll say, the bad attitude. Or proud, very proud of the bad attitude or mean girl, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So cringy versus that. Tommy? Uh, the, this the is mean tough. girl one. I think that's oh, worse. I, I, I hate when a girl is like, I'm going to be the mean girl. Like, you know, I'm going to roast you. Like, like you can't be too nice, but you also can't be too mean. That's where the Goldilocks comes in. Like, I think when, like, they, like, put on this attitude, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm the bitch. Like, when they're like, I'm the bitch. When they, like, brag about, I'm such a bitch. Yeah. And there's like, you're not, a, you're just a normal I'm, person. I'm picturing Kelly Kapoor from The Office. Mm. Yeah, that's yes, a pretty good yeah, one. Yes, okay. yes. Like, yeah, I'm such a, I'm just such a bitch. <laughs> like, I'm so hangry. I'm such yeah. a, I'm just such a bitch. <laughs> uh well, I, yeah, the I actually, I don't really care too much about a girl's uh, social media usage. Like, that's not something. Like, I know guys are like, oh, if I'm dating a girl, like, I don't want to post. I don't really care about it's, that. I don't think it's a volume of posting. It's just the posts are cringy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I almost want my girl to put up kind of cringy. Like, I want her to put up, like, basic bitch shit. Like, I want a basic bitch yeah. posting basic bitch shit. So, I, but the, the mean, <laughs> the brat, I'm a bitch, not, not for me. Mm-hmm. Jack? I'm going to go with cringy social media because that probably goes hand in hand with she would really want a social media relationship. Mm -hmm. She would want this, that, the other. And I think that really is just ugh, really icky. So I'll, I'll roll with that one. Although I am not a fan of the other option, so I don't see that one going really I far either. I don't like anyone that's proud of being mean. I don't yeah. like anyone that's like, oh, it's just who I am. It's like, well, then you suck. Yeah. 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 Change, Change your you personality. Suck. Change that about yourself. That's horrible fights uh this is a very tough one for me because neither do i really love um but a cringy social media poster gives my ops ammunition they can <laughs> fucking <laughs> use that against me and i can't have that whereas a person who's mean i can work with that mm -hmm. i can because i'm a pussy so if i got a junkyard dog i'm like babe fucking take care of this will you but be it a a waiter be it mm. someone who's rude to me in public I but i'm like, thinking like she's mean to you too oh i wasn't a mean girl's not usually mean to you is she yeah. oh well, that's in what i'm case, in this case i'm yeah. with like, fights on that one i think she's kind of like starting shit with other people no, you i feel like she's like roasting person. you yeah Oh, well, in, th in that case, if she wants to get in a roast battle with me, she's going to get pretty sad at the end of the day. <laughs> and that's her own doing. I, I was thinking she's more like... like Not thinking she's like a stand-up kind of like, person. You're like, babe, calm down, calm yeah. down kind of deal. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess that's, you know, teach their own. Yeah. Your own interpretation. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to yeah, go I wouldn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fights. Yeah. He no. would kill himself to win an argument. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nick? <laughs> and that would be one of his, like, early recourses. <laughs> <laughs> um... So we're so we're either doing she'll post like a cringy like you know like outfit haul video or she's fucking mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll with me. <laughs> I'm not thinking necessarily like outfit like stuff that like, I was thinking lovey dovey like like I just think it's tough having... for us since our jobs are more or less posted on social media like for us to be the ones like babe you're being cringy and yeah yeah like, you posted 151 Tommy's Thursday <laughs> videos I that's a tough argument to get posted into posted a full stand up set that was purposely yeah. unfunny I was thinking more like she would post on her story and it would be like a meme and she would tag you in the story yeah. oh, or oh, it would be like a I'm relationship like special, this is so man. us this is so us like I was, the story 
I was thinking that is bad. I was I was thinking like you're almost always doing like I'm so lucky to have this person in my life. Blah blah blah. No, More that like, I don't, that I don't care. You too much guys about. deserve that, man. Yeah. that's cringy. That that's <sighs> one of the one I find that and the comments and stuff like that. The ads that would be very cringy that, as well. The comments bother me, and then I would say like the the when they don't know how to operate, they don't know how to operate social media. I think for the most at least because of our jobs and all stuff, they don't know how to operate the same way as we do, and they'll post like a meme that's cropped out of something else that's cropped out yeah. of something else that's cropped like a like a See, Russian I almost nesting think doll. that's cute. I actually yeah, I that's cute. It. It's something not funny at all. Yeah, that, it's like when Bay caught me sleeping in like 2024, <laughs> and you're just like, oh. See, no, I'd like that because that would mean that would mean yeah, your, your she's person's not, just off the internet. Like, yeah. I want someone who doesn't even have it. Like, yeah. I don't want my girl having cap cut. <laughs> what, uh, Tommy, what if what you were dating is, a girl know, and like she commented on the barstool main like when they posted you and they were like, he's mine. I would, uh, I, I, I would, I would despise that. unless she was like okay. super, super hot. <laughs> <laughs> right. is, 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 that, is that the out for anything with you? Yeah. I would put all of this asterisk unless she's super <laughs> hot. Unless she was six seven and blonde. Could, <laughs> could a woman have all of these traits combined into one if she's hot enough? Yes, legitimately. Yeah. At the end of the day, that, that trumps all. I love how gay you just said yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Babe's just gotta be hot. <laughs> uh, Jay. Uh, I'm such like a positive person. I don't really get dragged down by stuff. But it is kind of like I forget who whose comedy bit it was, but they were saying how like you, it is kind of fun being like with a mean person because like if you don't get cheese on your burger, you want someone to like correct the waiter and send it back and get cheese in your burger because you would yeah, never do it. That's mean. Person. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like that's a type of person that would speak up. Yeah. So uh, I want to say I don't setting. think that that's exactly what we're talking. Yeah. Like, not a stand up is... person. That's different. I I love that. That's great. But then we're ta- I'm thinking more like the. You, we're mean me. Girls has been so poisoned for me because yeah. of just our experience right. here. So I, yeah. I'm having a hard time envisioning exactly. Just like a literal mean person, like they do actually mean things, and like, oh well, I'm just an asshole. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm and a it's bitch. Like, well, then you suck. Like, yeah, they'll stab bit. your yeah. like yeah. best have friend's girlfriend. Just like, I'm sorry, it's just how I am. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, like, that I, then I'm gonna switch. You're switching. Yeah. Okay. Over from cringy over to the this and so Che, do you get you you figure more now like what we're talking about? Yeah, but Mean, mean Girls still got to get punished, so let's oh, do it. Oh, 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 I can't believe you, Stephen Oh, my Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, Holy that shit. was unbelievable, Steve. Oh, that was shit. unbelievable. That yes. was. Oh my oh god. god. Oh man. Uh, I swear to you boys, almost didn't come back. <laughs> That's got to be, we got to have a promo clip where it's just the reactions like, what did Steve yeah. and Jay say? Yeah. <laughs> and the I'll show. Be- it's over. That, I'll, I'll bleep what Jay <laughs> said and then just show a reaction. Like, Holy <laughs> shit. Shit, man. Oh my god, Chad. My so, mind's so social media clip brain yeah, yeah, that yeah. I thought, oh, that's clip. gonna go viral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rudy. I don't even know how to top that. Yeah, just just abstain. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can deal I can deal with cringe. Cringe is everyone's cringe. We're all cringe. Mm-hmm. Like it's something that is just part of our society and I can handle that. I hate when people are just like take pride in being mean mm. um i can tolerate it for a little bit but i just i can't stand that cringe we are all cringe we are all cringe That's true. yeah cringe is within us it is, we are born with it and we die with it we are all cringe cringe is something that is as consistent as the sun yeah, yeah. so i can live with cringe i like that rudy's got some philosophical answers today yeah. i like it yeah. Uh, now we have the number one seed versus the 16 seed chain game. Our first chain. Uh, this one's mostly us, and I will say for the sec. Well, I have two chain games today. The second one is going to be mostly. I, I kind of like surveyed other people that work here for some answers too. Some other guys, so we got some of theirs answers in the other one. Uh, but for ours, <laughs> uh, is pregnant <laughs> from fights. I, Ken Jack grabbed me right after I just talked to Kelly Martin. Oh God! <laughs> like, so if you're talking to a girl and, you find, and she's pregnant, you're just like, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge a red flag. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's fair. arguably the biggest red flag possible. 
Uh, She's fucking someone else, dude. (laughs) (laughs) She's fucking me. I mean, I view that as just literally. I view that as just like a no vacancy sign. (laughs) There isn't. Yeah, there's no vacancy. (laughs) I got nothing to offer. That would be funny of like accusing (laughs) the girl you're dating for a long time because she got pregnant that she cheated. (laughs) (laughs) You've been having sex with me. Uh, having a blanket mindset of looking for a relationship or not looking for a relationship, be open to having anything at any moment, toots. <laughs> I, I feel made. like that no, was really that was, so that, that was really good until toots. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that too often, and it's like people put it on hinge, like looking for a relationship, looking for short term. I think that too often, you know, and guys do this too. You're in the mindset of oh, I'm looking for a relationship right now, and then you end up like you know forcing somebody who you're not that compatible with, and you're like oh well, I just have to be in a relationship, or you're blank like oh, I'm not looking for a relationship, and then maybe you let someone really uh, great slip away because you're just like I can't be a relationship just live and just if you know if someone comes along make it a relationship if not you don't that's mm-hmm. how I feel have you ever gotten like the everything is perfect about you but the timing isn't right yeah, yeah, yeah like that like that's not a real thing no she's no, fucking somebody else like, 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 <laughs> yeah she's yeah, 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 she's fucking somebody else wait so Tommy have you ever had a girlfriend I've dabbled <laughs> <laughs> it seems sort of binary. Yeah. He's I've, living, I, I've dated girls for like between three months up to a year is usually the the. Is the there? Of, are you looking for a girlfriend right now, Tommy? I'm I'm not looking for, if if she comes if a great girl comes along mm. great, but I'm not actively right. seeking. Mm. There you go. Right. Um, FaceTiming me, I hate FaceTime. Oh, I, oh, I love that man. FaceTime. I'm fine with that. I've 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 ended things with girls because they FaceTime yeah. me too much. I just text I was me. with you. I was with you. I think we were walking through an airport or something. You were getting a FaceTime, and the ugh you made was <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was so genuine. I think we only went out one other time after that. Uh, I know exactly <laughs> what you're referring to. Um, yeah, just don't FaceTime me. Text me like FaceTime. Like I need to. Especially like it, if I'm if it's at night I'm in bed I have my glass like I'm not looking to like there's so like I, I have to be everything has to be perfect for yeah. me to FaceTime you mm. Don't, get a grip not having blonde hair <laughs> I know this is Tommy <laughs> <laughs> Tommy looked up the screen like it was one of us that did it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it I, I, think it I followed his eyes it could have been Rudy <laughs> yeah very possibly could have been Rudy. <laughs> Um, no, they're just hella blonde chicks now. <laughs> uh, goes out more than two times a week from Jack Mac. Yeah, I think in age, there's an age qualifier yeah. on that. Well, yeah, like college is different, but yeah. like, uh, yeah, if you're 25, going out more than two times a week. When mm. we say going out, do we mean mm. out to the club? Bar, I should have, I should have qualified. If you go out and you go to like a bar, or like a wine bar with your friends, that doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, that okay. doesn't count. Like it's like, oh, you're going to you're going clubbing, clubbing, yeah. or like really like, oh, I'm going out tonight. Not, oh, I'm going out with the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waking up at like 3 p.m. on a Saturday just to go right back out to the club. Like <laughs> that lifestyle is never to me. Yeah, well, for me, that's anyway, a red flag for me just because I couldn't keep up. Yeah, same, exactly. Uh, when they like sports, hate when a girl likes sports. <laughs> I absolutely like one well, like like oh like oh like a girl will like want to bond like oh Yankee like I don't like I want a very traditional like I'm watching the you game want a I'm watching the game <laughs> and wipe. he does I'm I'm watching the game and like she's a little annoyed that it's on but like she's not like I don't like I don't want to be in a sitcom marriage yeah, yeah literally like her, I don't like, want a girl knowing you want to be the king of queens yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want a girl knowing like the Yankees fucking middle relievers <laughs> like no thank like you could like tolerate it. Honey, tolerate it. Like, be like, oh, the Super Bowl, we're going to watch. And, like, there's a list. She can know Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> yeah. Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Travis obviously. Kelsey. Brock Purdy is pushing it. Brock, Brock Purdy, I'm sort of like, Braxton okay. Barrios. She can know yes, Braxton yes. Barrios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, who. If you know good. Justin Pugh. Or you know a Justin- lineman. Yeah, yeah. Like, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> she knew Evan Neal. It's like, what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. Uh, Next up was using go- they use gold triangles as decorations and or vines from Rudy. <laughs> yeah, seems feels like, like you that. have one girl in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rudy, you just hate one. W- <laughs> There's just one woman that you just what? You got your heart broken by a gold triangle girl. Yeah, I I put a lot of emphasis on like how they decorate. 
which is the That's gayest so thing gay, about yeah. that. <laughs> but I fucking hate when it looks like a like a restoration hardware. Or not actually uh, restoration A lot hardware. of girls' apartments look like Pier 1. Yeah. yeah. Or, uh, yeah. She's great. There's just the something about like, amazing, but her interior decorating <laughs> is, no is good. awful. Rudy's next red flag is she doesn't have a fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Dude. Uh, I just fucking hate gold triangles. I hate shitty decorating. It fucking pisses me off. What about like the firefly light? Because that was big for a while. You know what I mean? I'm, I can rock with that to a degree. Mm -hmm. The you know? clothespins with little, uh, uh, what do you call them? Instamax photos? Like the yeah, Polaroids? Yeah, yeah. Clothespins yeah. with those on them, yeah. I think yeah, we, I don't like that. I'm kind of with you on it. Uh, and then Drinks Prime. <laughs> also from Rudy. Yeah. Wait, that's really fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's something about a girl drinking prime that fucks. I've never seen a girl drink prime. I guess I wouldn't like it if I did. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't like that one bit, man. Yeah, why do you want that much fucking energy? Oh, yuck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> why, why is she drinking that prime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're on through the Who do you trip. know? Who's buying Prime, dude? Like, if you're getting I've never seen anybody buy Prime. <laughs> no, yeah, I have. like, uh, you I've, bought Prime? I've seen kids no. with, buy Prime. I've never seen. I, I bought a Prime once. Was it good? No, no I didn't feel good either. <laughs> it was. It was I, I don't even like. I was just really tired, and I'd heard it had a ton of caffeine, and I drank it. And you I don't like terrible. caffeine either. No. Yeah. No. I it know was, you. It was not good. Uh, we'll run through the options real quick, and then we'll start with you, Rudy. Um, is pregnant, uh, is in the blanket mindset of looking for a relationship or not looking for a relationship. FaceTimes, uh, not, doesn't have blonde hair. Um, goes out more than two times a week, likes sports, uses the gold triangles, or drinks prime. Rudy, which one of those do you like? Prime. <laughs> prime. It would, be, it would be very odd. I've never seen someone with prime in their hand at a store, like about to ring up with, or buy it, I guess. It is weird. Yeah. Uh, Che? <laughs> So wait, describe what Primus because I have seen it in like it's an energy drink. It's, it's an energy it's drink. It's Logan Paul's. Um, you, could, you could even extrapolate this. Like if you if you're a, a chick who drinks energy drinks, uh, yeah. White Monsters. Yeah. White Monsters what? are hot. Really? Um, yeah, I don't yeah. mind a girl drinking I, a Red Bull. White Monsters are hot. Well, the Red Bull girls are. That might be what's in my head. And yeah. Bang Energy. Yeah, Same does thing? Celsius count for it? Because oh, girls, that's hot. girls Celsius that's hot. is hot. Celsius oh, is a hot Celsius. Drink. So you're right about yeah, that's a hot, Celsius. That's a hot girl. Girls yeah. love Celsius. Yeah, but if she's drinking like a rock star or a prime, yeah, or just like any of like those, a venom. Uh, an off she's drinking a rain. Yeah. yeah, she's drinking like yeah, a I venom. I, anyone, if I saw drinking a venom, I'd yeah. Be yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm going out on a date with a girl and she's sipping on a nos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a fault. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're watching a movie. She cracks open an amp. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she puts in a cup with a straw. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I We're trying to. I I'll, do, I'll do a steak dinner. So do you have any jolt cola yeah. in the basement? <laughs> uh, Jay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Fuck yeah. Prime energy drink. Uh, uh, Nick. Yeah, just like any of the hyper masculine energy drinks, and <laughs> she's sipping on it. For what? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it's definitely prime. Because I feel like we're missing like another one of those like very heavily masculine, like you're saying, like masculine branded drinks. You know what I mean? Because they feel like they made so many. All of those. their logos are either like a what, guitar what's it? or a Spartan helmet. It's like a wolf, and yeah, <laughs> I, I have in my fridge though because they were an advertiser at one point. I have like twenty. They've been there for like four years. Twenty, like it's like assault rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I forget what it's called. Assault rifle. Yeah. Is this all right? It's just my full, the top shelf of my <laughs> fridge for years. It's just been. Like, Always the one that. Uh, What's his name? Rittenhouse War? Oh, yeah, Black that, Rifle. Black yeah, Rifle. Is that Black Rifle coffee? Black Rifle. Yeah, that's Black Rifle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But um. Dude, these are rough. I the, like how they keep going. I want them to come out with like drone strike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go yeah. further. Yeah. J Dam, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what was the there was the Mountain Dew one? That's what I'm thinking of. The Mountain Dew energy. Code was, red. Vault? I no. think it was Code Red. Vault oh, not was Code Surge? Red. That was Code Red, I don't think it's energy. No, that's just, no, it's yeah, just regular Surge. <laughs> Code Red. Rain. Yeah, there's a bunch of these. Uh yeah, but um fights. I think there's one called this, Rip It. Rip It. <laughs> Still going to send it. Um, <laughs> this one is tough because it's not so much a red flag. I guess it, I guess by like the actual definition of red flag, it, if you're a FaceTime communicator, we are not going to work. Mm. It's, that's not going to happen. Um, and that, that goes for guys and girls if you're someone who just does it. Dude, I, I was hunting this weekend, and Sydney Wells says she FaceTimes Dave. I was like, that's the bravest what? thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's She's asking crazy. me, Donnie, oh, how do you guys communicate? Donnie, and Anton like, Don has FaceTimed her before. Him. Mm. Really? Because Donnie yeah. was with us, and he was just as surprised. He That's did it with us in, in Florida. 
Mm, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary, dude. FaceTiming Dave's I mean, I've, insane. I've done it like for a video. I would yes. never like yeah, out yeah, of the yeah. blue be like, "What's up, boss?" Yeah. <laughs> I um, actually FaceTimed Dave within the past couple months, and he texted me immediately. I was like, "Hey, can I call you for something?" <laughs> so I FaceTimed him, and he he hung up, and he said, "Why are you FaceTiming me?" Yeah. <laughs> so I called. Him. Uh, I so f- Dave has texted me once. And I didn't save his number just so I don't accidentally call it. <laughs> it's actually not a bad strategy. Yeah. It is a good Mm-mm. strategy. Uh, Jack? I would say it's a bigger red flag if like your buddy FaceTimes you. Um, <laughs> if a guy FaceTimes like that. I, I've, one of my friends FaceTimed me. Yeah, I'd be a little. I'd be like, so I, would be really I FaceTime with my friend. boys a lot. Mm. You do? I yeah. Do, I do too. Uh, I'd r- I, I don't like it, but I'd rather do that than a girl. I th- I have no issue with a uh, woman FaceTime. I'll just ignore it. Um, and <laughs> it, you have some issue with I it. have no issue. I just won't engage. Yeah. <laughs> no, I also think it's a great little, like, uh, it's a little, like, they're like, why aren't you picking up? Yeah. And then you tell them, oh, I can text, but whatever. That's that, just, that causes a whole other problem when you do that. <laughs> but uh, well, if we're extending it past prime, because I've seen, so, yeah. like, uh, to those monster drinks and whatnot, yeah, that's if you're drinking a masculine, <laughs> energy hy- drink. those hyper masculine branded <laughs> ones. Because I know, uh, like in the UK, Prime is huge. Mm. It, it's almost it's just like Celsius. But I don't really like Prime as a. It just doesn't taste very good to me. Mm. But yeah, I would. I'll go with the hyper masculine energy drinks. energy drinks. She popped open a NOS, it would be... The NOS one is really... A NOS would be a done deal. And she was like, yeah, I guess it was just in my fridge. And then you know something's on this. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Tommy. I would have went... How was my flight still not delayed? I would have went FaceTime. FaceTime? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, how was your flight? It's like 80 miles an hour winds. I'm scared. (laughs) Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, pri- your energy drinks is going up against number one seed, uh, which is being constantly late to everything. And one person who submitted oh. it specifically added on, your time isn't more important than mine, sweetheart. Uh, so that's going up against... Uh, Jesus, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, Could have been anyone. It's going up against the energy, energy drink. Tommy. Yeah, the be- I mean, being late I, in general, I dislike. Um, but specifically, like, I feel like with a girl, just because it is more one on one. Like if it's like a date, like like if it, you know, if you have a, a group of friends, actually, Jack, you're, you're late a lot. It doesn't really bother me because mm. we're at, we're at the dinner table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but if it, if I'm like waiting on a date, like I'm just fucking sitting there with my fucking dick in my hands. Like, and everyone thinks, oh, uh, there's Tommy Smokes alone at the bar. It makes me look like a fucking loser. Uh, <laughs> it makes you look it, cool, Tommy. No, it does not make Sit alone at the bar. It might make you look cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it does not cool. make me look cool. <laughs> and, like, especially, like, maybe it's okay later on, like, if you know each other better. But, like, early on, like, a first few dates, what else do you have to do? Like, why you better have you a not, great excuse. Like, you better have date. an unbelievable excuse. Like, oh, it took me too long to get ready? Get ready earlier. Mm. So that, to me, is just, like, almost, it's almost uh, indicative of, like, she's probably going to be, like, pretty selfish. Uh, mm. So I'll go with, with that. The lateness, Jack? I'm fine with late. I feel like you have to almost give them a 15 to 30 minute buffer. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. The ma- I can't. This is a, this could be a Cinderella run for the masculine energy. Yeah. I just think <laughs> if yeah, she no, no, no. if she's drinking a white no or zero calorie yeah. monster <laughs> with dirty white sneakers on, like she put her in a rough and rowdy. She, like, she's gonna she, headbutt. Yeah. yeah she, <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll probably yeah, she'll probably be doing things in bed I will not like. Like it's just it's yeah. So I'm uh, I'm voting for the 16 seed. I also think especially initially, I think late they almost they intentionally come late. Mm, 30 minutes is too yeah. much. 10 minutes to 15 I'm like, "All right, whatever." Yeah, I I just I think it's a we I think we're probably in the same brain with that. Being late is like in my head I can't do it. Like if I'm mm. late to something, I need the right. best reason as to why. I hate it. And I hate if they cause me to be late to go to somewhere else. That yeah, really bothers me. You. Yeah. Throw her right under the bus. She was late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fights. Lateness is one that it's weird. It uh, it with the, my boys. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. E- actually, even with, not even with boys, with the girls too. It doesn't really bother me so much. Work. It bothers me. Mm-hmm. And um, when I, when it makes me late. Yes. So like, yeah. if, if you're meeting me and I'm just sitting at the bar, I'm fine. Whatever. I was gonna be on my phone at home. I'm doing it at the bar. That's cool. If you're, if we're like, it's almost like like the classic sitcom type deal with like, why are you taking so long to get ready? Mm. 
I've been in relationships where like that, it, like that only lasted a year, but it started to bother me. That I can, I can be like thirty years in, this would be pretty fucking annoying. Mm-hmm. Like that, when you're sitting there and you're like, we're already twenty minutes late, and we haven't even reached the phase of your process where like it's time for me to start getting ready so yeah. I can catch up. Um, that's very annoying, but that's not really a red flag. That's like that bothers me in it. Sure. The red flag, like the stopping me from joining, <laughs> would be a monster energy drink. <laughs> drink. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like if Alex are always drinking like a Nos. Or like uh, one oh, of those two hundred. One of those ones with like not even the pop, like the big plastic yeah, pops. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, not, not the little metal. The monster tab. big fucking can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big. A BFC, dude. No way. Yeah. <laughs> and like not like on for an ad or anything like that. Like, she just sniped up by like a paparazzi, just like leaving. Dude, a if club a chick with... had a monster sticker on her laptop, I would freak the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nick, <laughs> it's energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> It's energy drink. Jay? I have been with someone who was like a serial be late, and it was very, very annoying. But to Jack's point, like, you're already in that. So it for the red flag, it's got to be the energy drink. Got to be the energy drink. Rudy? Yeah, I mean, we already know how I feel about this. Mm-hmm. I pulled this out of my subconscious on a very sensitive note. <laughs> Is this a real thing for you? I just encountered it, and it, it really resonated with me for some I, I wouldn't be mad. I'd double take. I'd be like, wait. I'd yeah, be no, disappointed. Just, <laughs> is that a big yeah. fucking can? Also, <laughs> also, I am that late bitch. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I can't, I can't cast stones. You are I late work guy. on it, and I can't do it. I just am always, I'm always late, so I can't. I would be a hypocrite. So mm. it's got to be energy Hot drink. people have like that. That brain st- yeah, and I, deficiency. Yeah. No, it's almost like they just they have an extra fifteen to twenty minutes. And yeah, I guess I just called Rudy hot, but I mean <laughs> that's true. But no pause. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, no pause. Uh, yeah, and, and again, like if Rudy was twenty minutes, like I mean, all right, whatever. But I, I also my guy, like my guy friends, like Tommy said, I've been late to a dinners for a few times with our friends. I'm known as that guy too. So, but I think like hot girls, they almost have 20 minute, like they have that 20 minute buffer. Yeah, again, and I, I, with the qualification, if she's super hot, like yeah, I'll yeah. wait there for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you would get stood up for like a 24 hours, <laughs> not moving. Uh, other half of the bracket, number six versus the 11. The six seed is uh, being extremely proud that they're ignorant about a certain subject. So when they're extremely like, oh, why would I know about history? That, no one cares. Why'd you about go it. to a southern accent? Yeah. <laughs> Did I? Was that southern? That that's southern. that's an ignorant accent. It's just kind of an ignorant. Right. Yeah. Uh, just when they're extremely proud to be ignorant about a subject, or like in news, politics, whatever, anything like that, uh, which should be applied to men as well. Uh, and that's going up against eleven seed. I really like this one. This is a submission. Uh, they have a chameleon personality. I really like this. So their, their personality changes oh. depending on who they're with. Yeah. Cutting, they're just constantly <laughs> shifting. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll start with you, Tommy. Or sorry, did we start with you? We started yeah, with you. I think sorry, Rudy. Rudy. Um, the chameleon personality, I, I live in this, ever since I saw Gone Girl, I'm in this constant state of fear that I will be one day Gone Girled. And so Are you chameleon- NPH or Ben Affleck? He's NPH. Yeah. I'm NPH. I, I was about to say I wish I was Ben Affleck, but I'm NPH, dude. Yeah. <laughs> my blood my blood is going to be pouring on a beautiful yep. bed somewhere. <laughs> I know me. I'm NPH. Uh, the chameleon personality scares me. That scares me. What was the other one? Uh, just that they're very proud to be ignorant of subjects. Oh, yeah. Once again, can't be a hypocrite. I am remarkably ignorant on a great many of subjects. But you're not proud of it. Yeah. No, I'm not proud of it. Um, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, it wouldn't be a, a something that stops me dead in my tracks. Chameleon personality scares me because I just don't want to get gone girl <laughs> You don't want to get gone. Rudy getting yeah. his throat cut by a girl wearing dirty white sneakers drinking a NASA energy drink. <laughs> That's my fucking nightmare, dude. Driving and a I know it's coming. Charger. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. I'm, it's going to happen. Uh, Jay? Being proud to be ignorant. Just, some people just like what they like. I don't think I would be a red flag at all. So uh, chameleon personality is... That's a super red, because if you're around a certain group of people and you're acting a certain way and you're around a different group of people and you act another uh, different way, anyone that doesn't have a reliable personality that you can be like, okay, I know where this person stands at all times on things like this, then I would not want to trust them or definitely not be in a relationship with them. So, um, yeah. That. You're being someone that, have you ever been with someone that changes the way they talk around other people? Like the way their inflection and delivery of like words and phrases changes, 
Because I knew a girl that, like, when she was with a certain group of friends, she talked with, like, almost a Cali girl accent. Uh-huh. Like, really oh, draw yeah. out. Like, oh, I almost God, think, though, God. that, like, might not even be on purpose. I, when I was might actually, be subconscious, yeah, but it's Yeah, weird. I think sometimes, like, if you're just around, like, if you go home for the holidays or something, you're around your family mm-hmm. that talks more like that, you might just, like, not to, like, fit in. It just, like, kind of happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Sure, yeah, it could be subconscious. Uh, I think the chameleon personality is better. And just to, to reiterate, Jay, the, the the ignorance thing isn't, like it's more the proud of it. Like I don't know shit about tennis. I'm not proud that I don't know anything about tennis. You know what I mean? It, it's more like the attitude of like, why would I care about this? I don't care about that. like they're happy that they don't know things about a certain subject. You is, like what you like. Yeah. I mean, Che is one of the most proudly ignorant guys yeah. in the world. I was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> che once texted me a picture of Michael Cohen, and was like, D- "Who is this?" <laughs> and then wait. <laughs> No, that was recently. Yes. You made a Twitter joke about that, and you responded. No, somebody like, tagged me in the tweet. It's like, oh, Stephen Shea is like, uh, or like Stephen Shea and this guy are the same. Yeah. And he sent me a photo. He was like, who is this? And Michael Cohen, obviously, Trump's lawyer. And then I was like, oh, you know who he is. You've seen him in memes. No. And then I sent him the meme of the more, more, yeah. more, yeah. more. Yeah. And I sent it to him. I was like, oh, it's this guy. And he goes, I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> and then I was like, he's, he's, the, he's no Trump's problem. lawyer who turned on him. And I think it was like a Minifan who said he was a rat mm. uh, during surviving. Mm. And then I said, I can't believe you don't know who that is. So Che, just to give you some background, Chase once asked us if there was an Adam Schefter for the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He once asked You're, if there was You have the most yeah. efficient brain of anyone I've ever met. Otherwise, it was the United that States f- press. That doesn't yeah. fall <laughs> into football. News media. You got a real streamlined brain. Yeah, like yeah. anything that doesn't fall into football, it's just, <laughs> nope. Adam Schefter, Adam Schefter for news. Uh, trash bin. Oh, you mean the trash news? Bin. The news. Yeah. <laughs> All of the news except for sports media is that. It's correct. But there's different channels with different slants. You don't know what's real. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to that. <laughs> I envy that. Jay is, is voting for an unbiased media. Yeah, just unbiased media. Uh, <laughs> Nick. So I think everybody has a chameleon personality to a sense. Mm. You know, you 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 bend a little bit to to fit into the groups you're in. But if it's drastic and you're like, who is this girl? That's not. It's not my girl. That's not the girl that I know. Um. That's a huge issue because then you're like, oh, is she putting on an act for me? Mm. Um, so I'm going with that. But I don't – everybody does it slightly. Like if, if I'm out with coworkers, I'm a little bit different than if I'm out with like hometown friends. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, fights? I uh, completely agree with Nick. There's there's a difference between being able to blend in and then being – I was picturing Ann Perkins. Being able to blend Rick. in is a green flag. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yes, yeah, like, that's perfect. Can, oh, yeah. You can put me in any flag. circle. I can, I can mix it hmm? up. It's but then there's Ann, What do you think episode? a green flag is? Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the episode of Parks and Rec when they're doing the um, yard sale yeah. and Ann Perkins has a different box for everyone she used to date. She had yeah, Andy. Yeah, yeah. She had Rob Lowe's character. She had Aziz Ansari. Yeah. That is a red flag. But the they changed their personality according to the boyfriend. You mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The the other one was it ignorance? Yeah. But. but the, I kind of proud uh, pride and ignorance. That one I kind of I I think too many people like are too afraid to be ignorant. Which like yeah, yes. I don't know. No, yeah. Admitting know ignorance is different. That's yeah. a totally different thing. Being like I instead of being like the vaccine does this, being like I don't know shit about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's different. It's That's, it's refusal to learn like even if you're just like no, I don't want to know. Right. Uh, yeah. And it, I, it's proudly. I even hate that. I, 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 I like, it that's happened not to me for once. Me. I once I once dated a girl who was a little bit younger than me, and she would always just be like, "That came out before I was born." Yeah, and I'd yeah, be like, yeah. "Well, I, I'm three years younger than you, and I know about what happened in the '70s. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not a crazy fucking thing." But she would always stick with that. Like that happened before I was born, and that would infuriate me. Yeah. But the the changing again. This is kind of like, does it bother you in it or red flag? The constant changing is the red flag. Mm-hmm. Jack? Yeah, I'll just reiterate what those guys said. Constant changing. You know, I expect my girls to be a little bit ignorant, so, you know. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> but it's just like, it is what it is. You just got to, yeah. Uh, Tommy? Yeah, I, I don't mind either of these. I almost think, like, being a chameleon, like Nick said, is, is, is to a degree good. Like, you should be able to blend in with different groups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't want to completely change your personality. But as Jack said, I like my girl's ignorant. I don't need my girl fucking knowing about. No, like, she doesn't need to know too guys, much about Israel Palestine. Mm. <laughs> you guys I, I, I had a buddy. Lives. It's funny. I had a buddy who broke up with his girlfriend once for that reason, and I, he called me and he was he, like, "She knew too much about Israel Palestine." <laughs> no, she, it, it wasn't Israel Palestine. He's like, he's like, dude, I like, I couldn't even talk to her about like 
Russia Ukraine, and I was like, dude, we've what? never talked. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Why? I couldn't <laughs> tell you about Russia Ukraine. I, like, I didn't even know that was a thing you ever wanted. He's like, he goes, I think his exact line was, she didn't have a hard enough stance on communism. I was like, how did that come <laughs> up, bro? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Dude, she doesn't even know about the Donbass region. <laughs> how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> She is a dome boss. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is, my, is my vote necessary? Uh, it, it wasn't. It was a clean okay, sweep. Then I'm abstaining. Yeah. Uh, now we have the three versus the 14. The three seed, I like this one a lot. Bragging on Hinge about how unlikely they are to answer your text. I've seen Ooh. that a lot, and it, every single time it is like, why would you be so happy about yeah. that? Why don't you... hate me if I don't answer your text for 27 hours. I yeah. probably won't return your text. I'm a bad texter. You're yeah. on your phone all day. That's yeah. not a thing to, me. like, you on Hinge, you have three <laughs> things to True. tell the world about yourself. <laughs> yeah. And the first thing is going to be, I'm not going to communicate yeah. with you. Why would that be something that, like, entices men? anybody? Uh, that, I, I find it enticing. It depends on what kind of person you are. Where, like, if you're a person who's always on your phone, then it bothers me. Like, my best friend just does not use a phone. That, I think, is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. And, like, so, like, I, I'll text him. He'll reply five days later. Well, then this person wouldn't be on Hinge, you know? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But, like, he's he's not, like... But if, if you're a person who, if I send you a text and I, I'm with you and I know you're always on your phone, then it bothers me. No, I imagine mm -hmm. these girls are doing it for, like, a power move. Of, mm. like, I'm... Like, to me, it's almost, like, more that's pathetic. That's what I mean, where you're ignore, like, you're... Right. It's yeah. more pathetic to, like, think about how long you're going to wait to respond to a text. Yeah. yeah. Like, if, if someone just fucking texts you just, and you see it, like, just respond. Like, mm. being like, well, this was 31 minutes later, so I have to wait 45. Like, that's, yeah. that's, you're hey, pathetic. <laughs> hold on a second. Tommy, um, I recently got into Survivor. I sent you, like, a paragraph last night. Multiple yeah, texts I about saw, Survivor. Here's the Crickets. thing. I Crickets. I saw it in Crickets. the morning, and I just didn't feel like responding. You're also not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice set that's of fair. boobs. <laughs> yeah. I do plan that's on fair. respond, but that that's one, that's one, Scenario why I'm awful at responding. Like if somebody texts me at night and I've already fallen asleep and I see it in the morning, I'm not gonna respond as soon as I wake yeah. up. Yeah, I think it's a new slate of texts. Yeah, new slate. Yeah, yeah. New slate. <laughs> yeah I agree. Um, Try me again tonight, Rudy. <laughs> exactly. You know who's a bad texter here? Trent. Trent might be the worst. Wait, he, yeah, he's a good uh, texter. He's trying to figure out the spelling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he's the only person. Like we will, like we'll be in a conversation or something, and we'll be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then I'll ask him something like the next day, and he won't answer for a week. <laughs> I mean, That's there incredible. is like some element of like. If you just like are like I don't like to text like that could be cool. Yeah, that's not what these girls are doing. No. Right, right. Like, Trent, Trent's it. actually a necessary because like sometimes text will just peter out. Mm. Trends like when it's done, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. And like we got the we exchanged the information we needed, I'm out now. Mm. And I, yeah, like I again, so not being here, I am almost trying to text. I think I said on the radio the other day, like I'm, I kind of got into a mode where I like to only text on my laptop. I yeah, just find yeah. it so I much like easier it, yeah. than texting on my phone. So I am trying to text a little bit less, but I feel like not. Like they're doing it as a manipulation, mm -hmm. or, or like it's just to me, it's just so crazy to brag about that in, yeah. your, in your inch bio. That's going up against number fourteen seed, having uh, having a ton of guy friends, having a ton I, of I guy friends. I don't this, mind that. This is something like, that's evolved over time. That this is tough. This is the toughest matchup so far. <laughs> having a ton of guy friends versus being uh, bragging about being a bad texter. Uh, start with you, Tommy. So here's the thing: with having a ton of guy friends, I think is less concerning than having like one really good guy really <laughs> because then it's like okay what's going on there like if you you know just like your friend group from like college and stuff just has a lot of guy friends in it i guess i just don't think she'd be fucking all of them you know <laughs> like to me it's like if it was less and now if she has only guy friends no girlfriend like if she's one who's like i just can't get along with girls mm. then that's weird then you have a personality defect um but overall, I don't know. I, I don't like just being like, oh, she got a lot of guy friends. She must be fucking all of them. I, I don't, you know, I, I, I can expect more from her. The the texting thing, weird and rotten. <laughs> uh, Jack. So I kind of, the texting thing fights. You were bringing up your friend who's probably your age. Yeah. Like if you meet a girl in New York City, most likely she her screen time's what, over eight hours? Oh, yeah. Like she's on her phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh so that's always kind of a red flag to me, but it's kind of just like, it's like doing business. It's the price of doing business, if that makes any sense. It's like, sometimes they're gonna text back, sometimes they're not. Uh, having too many guy friends is, yeah, bad. I mean, ha like acquaintances is different. If it's like, oh, this is my, my, my friend's girlfriend, or boyfriend, that's cool. But too many guy friends, like hanging out with them, um, 
just bad, bad, bad. I know how the other guys are thinking. Like, we've all had friends that will, like, the girl thinks, oh, we're friends, but it's like, no, I, like, I, I just want to fuck you. Right. I mean, I guess that is true. Like, I would never, I would never have a, a girlfriend that I just, like, meet in the wild. Like, I would never yeah. become friends, uh, uh, like, a female friend. I mean, not like, like, I would never just be like, oh, let's be, like, yeah, I would have to meet them through something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't I meet, okay. a, meet a girl at a bar and be like, yeah, let's be friends. Let's yeah, yeah, that was bizarre. Be, yeah. <laughs> I will say there are instances, like you said, like, from college, right. um, work, whatnot, that's a little bit different. But too many guy friends is just, yeah, a big red flag for me. I would just, uh, you should only be hanging out with your girlfriends. Like, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I, I don't disagree with like, you. Like, you should be, if, you go, if you're going out with guys a lot, uh, that's a little bit different. But, like, you shouldn't be watching, like, NFL Sunday football with the guys. Like, that shouldn't be. But if you. it's a bunch of guys and just you, that's almost, to me, not as concerning as if, like, she is just one guy. Just the one singular, yeah. Lot. Okay, that's also bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, she you know what? a guy best friend. Right, that's he better, he, be gay. he better be gay. He, he better be gay. He better be gay. Yeah, uh, fights. <laughs> this is this is a really tough one, um, because the texting, like like you said, my buddy's older. He's a woodworker in Vermont. Yeah, he doesn't. Text oh, that's a lot. Texter. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, if you're working PR in New York, then like, you're on your phone. You should probably respond to my text. Um, the the other one though, like the only red flag I've ever seen and turned around was that but it was it wasn't just like she had a lot of we were in college and i was like kind of young and she was talking about she was like bad mouthing her friend's ex-boyfriend she's like he left just because like we have guys with friends who hang out all the time in our apartment and like i don't know sometimes they have their dicks around and like, they walk around naked oh. and, and, she, oh. and she's explaining to me she's like yes. isn't that crazy that he broke up because of that and i was like i was like 18 i was like wait am i a pussy because like <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> like, your guy's dicks just in the open air all the time i'm out yeah. um so i Actually, guess that's for you for this like yeah that's pretty regular occurrence for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> That fucking party with who's got the smallest dick or who's got the smallest dick? Yeah, Yeah. the famous uh, Providence College Pea Party of 06. Um, (laughs) But the that was seeing as it's the only one where I've been like, yeah, I mean, I can't. I'm going to I'm going to back out of this. That would have to be my winning red flag. Mm -hmm. Nick. It's a group of guy friends. She's probably pretty fun, right? She would go agree. out and have beers, wings. Oh, my, oh, girl. Um, my girl cannot oh, eat wings oh, and drink oh, beer. beers. <laughs> yeah. Really? Get a flatbread and a Cosmo, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, I think a uh, guy best friend is way worse than the group. Just because not only does he want to fuck her, he loves her. Mm. He's in love with and her. And he's loved her longer right. than you've ever even known she existed. <laughs> yes. He's loved her for years. He knows more about her than you do. Uh, when, you know, she's gotten drunk and slept on his couch. The like, knowing more about is a good one, too. Yeah. Like, Fuck, I can't even compete with that. Yeah. Yeah, this guy has five years on me, and he's just waiting for you to fuck up. Mm-hmm. They, he hates you. They probably fooled around once and then realized it was a mistake and didn't want to ruin their friendship. Maybe. Yeah, but no, he still wants to, and it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... But bad texter is just a lie. No, you're not. You see it. Like, I don't, I don't, I've never had a hinge or an app. So I don't, they brag about that, Tommy? It's like if I went on hinge right now, you would find a prompt that a girl's like, don't, it's like the set one is like, don't hate me if, and be like, I don't respond to your text. Or like, I probably won't respond to your text in 24 hours. Like they put that as like their number one get to know me. That's a weird one. It's a bad texter. No, no, no. I'm not on Hinge, but I've met so many bad texters. Like it's a person. It's trait. like any guy on it, or Rudy. Like you've seen that for sure. Oh yeah, it's 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 a. I always word. feel bad for when a guy believes it. Oh, she's just a bad texter. No, that is. She's the, been on her phone eight times since you've said that sentence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, That's also true. Yeah, it, it's it's bad texter for me. And that was even happening back when I was on Hinge, and that's like five years ago. And like mm-hmm. it was, it would be that. It would be something about the office. Would be the next yeah. prompt, and then some. It used spicy to be margs. spicy margs, like sometimes bef- uh, a while back. martini, espresso yeah. martini, avocados were up a lot. They and then they kind of, that kind of slowly faded away. It's a lot of those, a lot of the same, a lot of the same stuff. They're all the worst. <laughs> che, uh, I submitted the like, uh, lots of guy friends. I think that yeah, just if she is around a lot of the same guys constantly, they have for sure hooked up, and you just are waiting to find 
the landmine on which one and how recently and how far, etc. Uh, plus, it could be a situation where, you know, one or multiple of the guys are, like, in love with her. So, uh, I would say that. Guy friends, Rudy? Um... I'm going to go with the texter one because I view it as like a perceived threat versus like a real threat. Mm -hmm. Like if, if, if it's specifically on the hinge, like if we're focusing on that, where they like use it as a personality trait and like weaponize it and are proud of it, that is just like so annoying and just like a bad quality. The guy friend thing has never really, I understand like it, there's been times where I'm like, uh, this is like a little bit annoying, but it's never bitten me in the ass. She would have been dating one of them before you had the chance to meet. So? No, no, no! I'm saying I'm on your side. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, she, never mind. she wouldn't be changed my tone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I do. Yeah. So yeah, we agree. I, 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 it's never bitten me in the ass. I understand the fear, and it can bite you in the ass, but it's never bitten me in the ass. So I can't really say it's a huge. I will say I don't me. like meeting a girl's guy friends. Yeah, like that's like <laughs> that is we we shouldn't like meet like this. You know, like I don't want to have to. Yeah, because like you know how to deal with a girl's girlfriends. Like, you don't really know how to deal with a girl's guy friends. No. Well. Wow, yeah. It's yeah. awkward. Finding the middle ground. Yeah. Like, you're trying to find something that you relate with them. Yeah, it's like we That's... both tried to fuck. And, like, <laughs> I won. And no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, fights. I forgot to record your vote. Who'd you vote for? Uh, guy friends. Guy friends. Uh, fuck, so we're tied up. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the bad texting only because that's, again, it's like the in-the-door thing. And when you say that right off the bat, that is, as far as we're talking about like red flags, I see yeah, that on yeah. a hinge prompt, and I'm just, and bad communicator. Like, exactly, it's like I'm proud of the fact that I will right. not communicate with you. And especially, I think here it's different. Different jobs are different things. Like she's a nurse and she's not texting you, fucking Fine. grow up. But like if you're like a PR person you're on your phone twenty four seven anyway, and you're like just not answering, it's like that's crazy. Right. You're, you're crazy for just bragging about that. Uh, so bragging is going to move on. Uh, next matchup is the number seven seed. Uh, worshiping celebrities, uh, being mm. a celebrity worshiper, and that could be across any a aspect of the entertainment industry. And that's going up against the number 10 seed. Doesn't have any hobbies. No mm. hobbies at all. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's preferred. Fine. That's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Common. If I, meet, if I, if I Common. meet a girl with a hobby, like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> no hobbies. Or, well, we could expand it to, like, interests. You know, like, into that same thing. That's fine. <laughs> it's so nice of you. This is my girl. She doesn't like anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just exists. Yeah. Uh, Rudy. Uh, it's hobbies versus... The worshipping celebrities. Oh. I don't mind the worshipping celebrities thing. I mean, like, that's... that. I feel like a hypocrite. Like, we, we talk about celebrities all the time where we all have interests, like, sports, video games, whatever. Like... That's a very common thing in society. I have no issue with I that. Think I, I wouldn't say like, anyone I'm thinking a worshiper. Wor I'm thinking worshiping like a, su a specific celebrity. Yeah. Like an Ariana yeah, Grande yeah, yeah, yeah. account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with fucking stands, dude. Everyone's a stand. Everybody, yeah, every, yeah. Everyone's a stand of something. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't mind that whatsoever. Not having hobbies is weird to me. Like, I don't want someone that's just like this, like existing. Well, what's a hobby you would want a girl to have? I don't know, like painting, knitting, I don't know. Reading. Reading. Like, video I don't games, really get like, but like, to me, that's, it's not more to go, girls can have hobbies. Like, I'm not, I don't even know what my hobbies would be. Like, a hobby, like. You love Survivor. That's a yeah, hobby. That's, that's a, not a hobby. That's a that's TV that's show like that I write. You write, a, yeah. you write fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, a girl, like, a girl, like, loves to go bowling. <laughs> Ew. I mean, that's, <laughs> what do you mean, ew? That's cool. Yeah, hobby I mean, can be like going to the gym. Yeah, that, the gym that, yeah she, can, she can have lot. that hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no. You, you, going to the gym can't that's be a, not hobby. a hobby. That's definitely a hobby. That's, that's for sure. That's yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. It's running a hobby. Running is definitely a hobby, running running hobby, is hobby too. Now, running is a hobby. Running is a hobby. Gym in general, not a hobby. I think there's a difference between like going to the gym and like being a runner. Being a runner is a hobby, I think. Yes. I think going to the gym is a hobby as well. No, I disagree. I would say, like, I'm I'm thinking hobby would be, like, Rudy said, painting, playing the guitar. Yeah. Um, That'd be sick. But if why are the, the these aren't I different mean, than, than going to the gym? Than going to the gym? But going to the gym is almost like a health thing. Health well, thing. yeah. So what? So? If I was making, like, healthy food, is that not a hobby? If I'm no, that's to not a hobby. Food? I disagree. Cooking but, like, healthy food is a hobby? Yes, but, like, is going yeah, to work a hobby? Like, is go, going to work <laughs> no. a hobby? But not everyone does, not everyone is healthy. All right. Everyone does go to work. Yeah. Like, yeah, like if you, you, you have so to cook, fucking but if you're cooking, <laughs> you're, like, I wouldn't say cooking is a hobby of mine, but I cook every night. But like, if you're like well, enjoying cooking, yeah, that is a hobby. Yeah. And if you're like buying the ingredients and like trying new things, like, yeah, like you're cooking out of necessity, not for fun. Right. Cooking I mean, can be a hobby. 
Nutritional, yes. nutritional stuff can be a hobby too. I guess if you're someone who goes to the gym every day and genuinely hates it, then it's not. But if you enjoy going to the gym, you're like, yeah, I like spending I mean, time I guess if you like love, oh, I love going to fucking Pilates or something, then sure, that's a hobby. But if you just like are going to the gym and like doing your basic workouts, I don't think that's a hobby. It's like a knowledge thing. Like if you have knowledge about it and you're like pursuing more knowledge, you can share that knowledge. That's a hobby. Yeah. Like, I, but I, I don't think there are many people like that. I don't, who like, or at least they don't last long. Who like, they go, they're like, fitness is a part of their life. And, and they try and they things, really yeah. don't like it and they just go and run a me. mile and do 10 push <laughs> that's why I try to do it yeah. I'm like I really don't like this and I stop yeah. Uh, yeah so you're gonna go with the no hobbies Rudy yes uh, Che yeah no hobbies because then you don't really know what their personality is so yeah. they don't have one I don't think yeah then why are you interested in this it's like a robot yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what Tommy wants is an android yeah yeah you, literally you literally want like a breeding android <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking gross <laughs> no hobbies is a red flag for any person yeah agreed yeah. no what do you hide like what's if you if, it's it's a human desire to not want to be bored exactly uh nick um yeah it's no hobbies no hobbies there's definitely hobbies that would be a red flag too like but i think if you don't have any yeah, all, like, yeah I'd with rather... your guy friends too much <laughs> yeah that can't yeah, be yeah her, her, her biggest hobby is hanging out with the boys yeah. <laughs> or like, or like or like eating wings around. drinking beer <laughs> uh just tommy what okay tommy what if like the hottest girl you've ever fine been dating <laughs> <laughs> okay so taxidermy if she's into taxidermy chill. totally fine taxidermy <laughs> oh that's crazy taxidermy is crazy that's a crazy one that's like uh what do you call it um like what's a flora and not flora what's um formaldehyde like formaldehyde yeah, yeah. oh shit, that shit's gross dude um in fights uh seeing as i can't really remember the other one it's probably no <laughs> hobby but what was the other one uh worshiping a celebrity <sighs> worshiping celebrities tough But this is also like, this is kind of, you know, kind of an issue we've run into on a couple of them is something you, it bothers you once you're in it versus as, as a red flag. Yeah. Mm. Like worshiping a celebrity is a something you notice quicker and can probably sure. treat as a red flag earlier than, than like. You do it, John. You made a Fast and the Furious merch. Yeah, you did. You're, well, I make yeah, all you kinds of Taylor merch. Swift. I'm trying to make money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair I, I i wouldn't say i wouldn't say i have any celebrity worship i do some things for like bits and jokes but like i wouldn't say i worship taylor I, not I kinda, as much as some people here i guess yeah I, I i like i like taylor swift i mm -hmm. i don't think i cross the line into worship i actually think that taylor swift like i like well, i is so mainstream now where like it like i think five years ago a girl like worshiping taylor swift i would have been like that's weird that's too i much. think it's weirder now I almost think it's weirder if I'm you're not fight. a Taylor yeah. Swift fan. Mm. But, like I think, but, but I think, but I think now here's, so... I just want my girl to blend in with the crowd. That's yeah. basically what I'm getting <laughs> at here. And like right now, the crowd likes Taylor Swift. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? But but Taylor Swift has, has been a mega popular for but a long time. But it's clearly time. the last year. Now, so it's, it's like it's, it's, reached a whole new. But if you just start, if, if you read a, a, a Taylor stand the whole time, perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. If you started being a Taylor stand mm. in the last year, that's weird. So Taylor Swift to me is kind of exempt from like this like to me what she's like being obsessed with tracy chapman yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Know can't stop talking yeah she, <laughs> she can't knows stop brian koppelman discovered her at a cambridge yeah bar. exactly yeah. yeah yeah or a She's male obsessed. celebrity pause <laughs> how's that pause do you That's pause a, a woman worshiping a man <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pause. Okay. no no but Tommy you know is based as fuck <laughs> <laughs> he really is bro like he's like y'all gotta like he, yeah. i'm batting a thousand today <laughs> get him on Tommy's the, get, base. he's based as fuck <laughs> he's the acknowledged men <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, like like one time I was I think it was what was it it was some sporting event and the girl said some I think it was a soccer player she's like that guy's so hot and then she just kept talking I, that like I got the ick immediately <laughs> like it's just like you shouldn't I don't want that. Be attracted to men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, I'm not secure enough to be told about it. To be told about it? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's like you, you, she can be like, "Oh, Ryan Gosling's so hot. That's fine." If it's like if you're at a, a fucking Bonk. New York City FC game, and she's yeah. like, yeah, oh, so that's that midfielder is so hot." <laughs> be like, "What the fuck?" You know, he has a day job, right? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, PLL player. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was dating a girl once, and she told me uh, she's like really attracted. I was like, oh, "What features are you attracted?" She's like, "I'm really attracted to big hands," and I'm like, 
<laughs> I don't have big hands at all. Like kept my pockets and my hands in my pocket for the next yeah, year. Yeah, like, I was like fucking Uncle Jack, and yeah. it's always sunny. You can't dude. tell me about how hot a guy is that you can easily just go yes. have sex with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fights. So you can go with the celebrity one. Um, I, th- that's so dependent. I guess I'm gonna go no interest because that's that's broader. So mm. you, some celebrities, it's okay. Some celebrities, yeah. it's a little weirder. Jack. So it's celebrities versus no hobbies. I think it was funny. There was a TikTok that went mega viral, I think, last year. It was just a guy saying women don't have hobbies. Mm. It was like, name one of your hobbies, which I don't agree with at all. But I I am actually listening to Nick and Steven talk about it. You, you wouldn't want them to have hobbies. Like, I think if she's a painter or something, you would actually... Because then she would become too obsessed with you. Um, and, uh, <laughs> You'd also feel the – you feel – I mean, I've dated people with no hobbies before, and you you feel the pressure to be an entertainer. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like you, you have to come in from thrive, work and you got to put on the show. <laughs> like every Friday, every Saturday – like not even Friday, more like <laughs> Tuesday nights. It's like, what are we going to do? It's like, don't you have something for yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I would say no hobbies. Tommy, girl, Tommy's girl is like, when's the new Tommy thoughts? <laughs> you, don't, you don't need a hobby if you're dating smoke. <laughs> you want to watch TV? No, just rip. Let's chat. Uh, Tommy. I guess, I mean, that is fair where like if she, if you're her only hobby, that's an issue. Yeah. Like I don't like. We should not see each other that much, mm. like a couple times a week. Like if if, if we're if it's like oh I'm your everything, that's an issue. But yeah, I guess the ho- what what is it up against? Hobbies against the worshiping celebrities. Well, yeah. yeah, I guess I actually don't care that much about that. So I'll go with the mm. hobbies. Hobbies. Uh, now we have our second chain game. Uh, first option is uh, from Rico. Uh, <laughs> leaving a half drank coffee in the car. They leave half drank <laughs> coffees in the car. That's pretty good. That's just must be just be something his wife does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also like I, I mean that's also very common. I feel like just half drink water bottles all around. Half drink water bottles, yeah, I do. But I feel like that's very common. Like that's just a and that's unisex girly thing, thing, thing to do. Yeah, I think it's more unisex. To be yeah. Uh, posts behind a DJ booth from Glenny Balls. <laughs> so they post a lot from behind <laughs> the DJ booth. I mean, she's probably out though. Yeah, it's, it's also true. Uh, wears inappropriate clothing and complains about it being too hot or cold. So they don't mean like sexually inappropriate. They just mean like they wear something, a light outfit when it's cold or a cold outfit when it's hot or vice versa or whatever. Uh, and that's from Big T. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, has a very dirty car from White Sox Dave. All right. Mm. Mm. Uh, from from KFC, seeing their worn underwear. <laughs> Ew. I don't even. Yeah. Uh, self-diagnosed mental problems, but refuses to let or see anybody about it. Ooh, that one's good. up that's there. A good one. I forget it. I didn't write down who put that in. Uh, and then, oh, I know. Let me include this one before we put that one back in. Uh, so between all those ones, ha- leaving a half drink coffee in the car, posts behind a DJ booth, uh, wearing the wrong clothing for whatever event, uh, has a dirty car, seeing their worn underwear, or uh, self-diagnosed mental problems let's start with you rudy sorry can you guys start elsewhere i had to give um i had to go start with you out for a sec i'm gonna go to self-diagnosed mental problem i mean the car stuff to me is so foreign like in the city like yeah it just doesn't happen um yeah the self-diagnosed she's like oh i have this 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 but like it's just she read a few t- i mean i think we've talked about this before yeah. in terms of just worst qualities people have um but it's like she's just seen a few tiktoks uh yeah i'll go with uh that because like the dj booth one like she's probably hot and, that, like, that was she, glenny <laughs> yeah so to me it's almost like yeah like i don't want her fucking in the crowd Ev- everyone has very specific ones on this <laughs> yes, like, yeah. like you have a person you're talking about yes like, exactly <laughs> uh jack so what, what which one did you pick tommy the self-diagnosed mental yeah i mean you, you got to go at least seek some help <laughs> uh i mean oh i disagree i'm a, a completely flipped if it's doctor diagnosed, <laughs> it's fine. If you don't do it, but like it can, a self diagnosis is what bothers me. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what we're saying. saying. That's what oh, we're doing. Oh, I'm yeah. saying you should you should go to a doctor. <laughs> but but then but then you don't have to keep going as long as they diagnose you. I don't care if you're trying to fix yeah, it. Yeah 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 yeah. You yeah, gotta yeah, be that's diagnosed. Fine. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, this, yeah. You know what? Fights. I'll let that slide. Yeah. <laughs> no, like she can't. Like I. If she's like, I'm so OCD. It's like, no, you're not. Like yes. that's how, yeah. that's like, kind I'm of bipolar. You, like, clean yeah. your apartment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm so OCD. Like I really, yeah, I really like my clothes in a specific way. It's like, 
Yeah. yeah. Get, get doctor diagnosed and then give up like an adult. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what would, wait, hold on. I'm curious. What would be worse? Like, imagine if she was like a true gorophobe but refused to acknowledge it. It doesn't go out. It doesn't, it doesn't leave the home. It doesn't leave the house. She's like, no, I'm not. Well, I probably wouldn't. I m- probably wouldn't meet, meet her. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, that would be actually ideal. Yeah, just go over Dating and fuck <laughs> Yes, like, and she doesn't expect, my, like, yeah, yeah, she's not, she doesn't have any other friends. <laughs> Hasn't been outside since 2014. Yeah. Like, this girl's perfect. But you guys she can't be like a COVID gorefo. No, no, no. I wonder if yeah. there's an app for gorephobic people to meet like, somehow. <laughs> how else do they meet anybody? Just online. Yeah. Has to be, right? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. would you? Well, I mean, think about it. We're just, the Gypsy Rose thing is, yeah. she found a murderer in a chat room. So, I mean, like. Uh, it's true. <laughs> Like you yeah, can find it. Did. Um, <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Remind me. Uh, oh wait, no, no. This is the K N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, I'm sticking with the doctor diagnosed. Self-diagnosed yeah. Stop, uh, self-diagnosed. mental problems. Yeah. Uh, Nick. Yeah, it's for sure that. Um, because then it'll be used against you. Like, oh, my, that's bothering my OCD. Mm. Like, no. It's, uh, that. Yep. Jay. Same. Yeah. Self-diagnosed. Yep. Rudy. I got, I'll abstain because I, I didn't hear all of them anyway. I'll give them matter. to you anyway. It was uh, leaving a half drank coffee in the car, being posting pictures from behind a DJ booth, uh, fine. Ha- having a dirty car, and then seeing girls worn underwear. <laughs> all fine. All fine. Just all fine. Then then self diagnosed me- uh, mental issues. A, a dirty car is fine. Uh, again, it's it's not something I ever run into. But like, hmm. yeah, I dated girls in college who had dirty cars. If I got in a girl's car now, it was dirty. I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Get your act. You're an adult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the self diagnose I've seen girls through TikTok diagnose themselves as autistic because <laughs> oh, over the most oh, menander yeah. like yeah. regular thing. Like it would be crazy. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean I think a lot of people have that's a very big trend. Yeah. Diagnosing yourself as autistic. They think it's cool. Yeah. 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 It's like it's not. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Yeah, I have a big shoe collection. I must be autistic. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyone who's self self diagnosing autistic autism is, is be- insane. Being like, into I, something means autism. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I saw something hobby. the other day yeah. it was a pictures of that's Queen what they Elizabeth. Tell me. <laughs> In like different color dresses, like she had one dress that was all purple, one dress that was all yellow, green, and so and she and someone said the way Queen Elizabeth was low key autistic. <laughs> right, someone, different color Someone dresses. retweeted it and was like, "What do you people think autism?" <laughs> Wait, low key, she could have because she's probably inbred. inbred. Yeah, a little bit true. English. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, so self-diagnosed mental issues versus the number two seed, and this one, I'll admit it's for me because I hate it. I hate it so much more than anything. Um, using. TikTok or internet slang in real life. Oh, it is, it is one of the most. That's like, a good one. <laughs> stop me in my tracks. It, we we had like Riz. Yeah, like if she said stuff like Riz in real life, like unironically. Okay. Like yeah, man, but that guy really rizzed me up last night. The like, problem with that is slay. that it's, it's so annoying, slay. but then it does. It's almost like you're almost like hating them for being so ahead of trends because it is going to become like all that no. stuff does get fairly. Like someone's saying slay now. I guess it, it depends. That's on ironic. That's yeah. ironic, though. Right. But then it, but the, but then ironic becomes. But that's a, it, it, I don't even think necessarily because like a lot of these are just ones where if you heard it, it would stop you in your tracks if you heard them talking. Yeah, about that. yeah, yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying, 100. percent Didn't we? What what bracket was this that we literally was like when people use slang? Terms? I think I forget what it was, but a long time. I just been like yeah. worst types of people. Yeah, or something. that use like internet slang. Really There's like, one specific is, one that comes to mind. I can't think of what it is. That I just hate when a girl says it. It's the blank for me. It's the yeah, it's, yeah or uh, oh yeah. yeah, it's the blank for me. Oh, that yeah. was brutal. It's no, giving. the way, like no, the way that I like when they say something like that. It's the way yeah. that I. That one kind of makes yeah. me laugh. But like if they're saying it not <laughs> to make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just saying. Oddly, yeah. You're just laughing in their face. <laughs> like that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're saying it ironically, that's kind of funny. Yeah. Like, Hell, I might even like you. Yeah. But if you're using it like earnest. No like, cap. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the girl with the monster energy telling you no. Yeah. No cap. Like, <laughs> like, she scratches for, her balls. Be fucking for real. <laughs> oh. oh uh, yeah. So the TikToks or internet slang in real life versus self-diagnosed uh, mental issues, Rudy. Um. The it. The slang thing like really depends on the like ratio. If it's exclusively communicating through internet slang, that would get really old really quick. And then it just sort of communicates to me that you don't have any discernible personality. You're just basically like a soundboard. That's annoying. But I think that it's gotten to the point now where like in general people just use slang and that's just how it is. And it bothers me a lot less than it used to. The or the diagnosing yourself with mental problems is like 
legitimately weird and annoying. Mm. So I'm gonna go with that. Yep. Jay. Uh, yeah, the slang doesn't bother me, so I think the self-diagnosed mental issues is a pretty big hurdle. Rudy, would you be mad if a girl called herself like dyslexic? As a, she's like, yeah, I take longer than twenty seconds to read a book. I'm dyslexic. No, because dyslexia is is the diet coke of of mental problems. Like, what does if that you mean? say like, oh, I'm dyslexic, I'm like, all right, cool, go for it. It's like the water down. Like, oh, okay. you can anyone anyone can be dyslexic. I'm not gonna be like. How fucking dare you say you're dyslexic? <laughs> you have no idea what we fucking go through. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, uh, Nick. So one of these is if a girl says Riz, and the other one is if she thinks she's bipolar but won't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't decide. I'm going to abstain. <laughs> uh, fights. I'm going to go again. This is you know, everyone's kind of interpreting things differently in the spirit of the game of Red Flag. I would know I, the, the that will turn me off right away. I might think the uh, until I get stabbed in a fight, like I might think the undiagnosed bipolar is kind of cute. But if you're like <laughs> if you're like Riz, I'm the like, way you're so bipolar, I'll, I'll be like you goddamn like that. That would yeah. that would probably yes. Slay red King. flag me. I'm kind of with you. Mm -hmm. You're giving intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't, Jesus, this flat red's gas. I'd be like, what? <laughs> I don't mind either of these. I think this is. Like with the terminology, I guess maybe it could be a little bit difference in age, because I guess and also I'm on TikTok a lot, but you're also on TikTok a lot. Uh, so, funny. but if I heard someone using those terms in real life in an unironic way, like we'll say that shit ironically. That's a lot. more of a red flag. Now I'm thinking yeah. about it. I would be like, all right, you're kind of childish. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's more of a red flag. But this is a. I don't mind either of these. I, I'm not firm in this stance. Pause. It's <laughs> <laughs> based. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, here's where I'm, I'm trying to decide if I have to leave for the airport. My, but but like every flight around it is delayed except my flight. You're gonna get the. Where are you They're, flying to? You, Chicago. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It was in, in it's snowing a lot here. Sixty Pull mile up. an is hour it? winds. Yeah. How is it? There's not no way you're not gonna get delayed. Twelve inches by when? By me today. Another Holy pause. Shit. Uh, uh, maybe. All right. Let's just keep going. So Tommy, TikTok um, slang versus self-diagnosed mental. TikTok slang. Uh, t honestly, TikTok slang. TikTok slang? Yeah, like, I, like, at least, like, if she has, like, like, whatever, the mental issues, it's, like, she's not choosing to be that way. Yeah. Like, she's choosing to say slay. But it's self-diagnosed, so they, I, yeah, she again. She literally is choosing. True. <laughs> she's like, I am autistic, because I like, I like red pens. Yes, exactly. Like, I... It, it'll be over something that makes no sense. And again, it's all self I mean, to me, the, like, are these people honestly, like, uh, I bet there's a lot of crossover. Yeah, a lot of crossover. Yeah. yeah. What is the vote count? That's true. Uh, I think with you out, it's three in favor of mental and two in favor of TikTok. Let's bring it. To, I'm going to go TikTok. Let's bring it to you, Kendrick. All right. And I'll, I'll do TikTok. I, I think that, again, that's something that just stops me in my tracks, like, mm. when I hear that yeah. in real life. Um, so that's going to move on. And now we can run through our playoffs really quick. First up, astrology versus <laughs> frequent trips to Miami. Uh, and what was it called again? The Fountain Blue Room? The Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue. Specifically. Live, 11. Yeah. Club space. Frequent trips mm -hmm. to Miami versus astrology. Tommy. Uh, I'm going to go astrology. Like, if you're taking frequent trips to Miami, you're hot. Like, that's really at the end of the day. You're more likely to be hot than if you're really into astrology. So I'm going to go with astrology is worse. Jack? Uh, yeah, Miami will always be up there for me. I'm going to go with Miami. Also, man, you're I making add. it's the whole like, oh, you're make you're being insecure about it. But here's the thing, like you're making our relationship not secure. So it's not on me. It's Miami's like, like but the I would rather paradise. I'd rather my girl go like fuck a, a, a guy in Miami than like have someone she's fucking in, in New York. I would rather neither. But yeah, but deal work. you are right. It is like my idea of like if that's happening, it's probably like, ah, like I'm going to get beat. I'm going to get cheated on eventually. So I guess you could just accept it. But going to Miami, like, how is she going? When is she going? Is she going for... What's her flight number? Yeah. <laughs> like, is, is it bachelorette trips? Or is she going because, oh, Tiffany uh, Tiffany said she I should come back this weekend. I think it's right. just that city is... Uh, like, who's paying for the flights? I want to see... I want to <laughs> see the credit cards. <laughs> that city is just synonymous. You go there to fuck and get fucked. Like, that yeah. is what that city is built for. It's just people yeah. are fucking there. That's all they do. Yeah, so... And evade taxes. That's it. It's the only two things they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cocaine, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, so I'm just going to go Miami. Yeah, it, yeah. My, my thing is if you... You saying I'm being insecure about it, you're making the relationship not secure. You're making me feel insecure. I mean, if you're, like, 
in a relationship with a girl and she's like, I'm going to Miami for the weekend like a lot. That's bizarre. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm thinking more like if I'm like starting to date a girl. Oh, then and yeah. she's like, I'm going to Miami. Like, All right, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that's different. I mean, it's different. But if I'm in a relationship and like it's like, oh, I made this girl my girlfriend, quote unquote. Yeah, no, yeah, like I, I need a reason. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, fights. I got. Uh, she has courtside tickets. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> How can you pass those? NBA you season Jimmy opener. Butler, need Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Jimmy <laughs> Butler. <laughs> Jimmy Butler said, "Yeah, come through." Um, I gotta go. I get again. It, it's something that I think is probably. Uh, a little more widespread because the internet because I've never run into it in real life but it would it would really annoy me if you were passionate about something that I think is not real mm. and that is astrology astrology Nick Miami all Miami. Nicky's girls going to Miami everyone <laughs> uh, Jay yes definitely Miami dude she flew back and then Gaz was following her <laughs> on Instagram <laughs> Gaz, Riggs, and Glenny are all following her. And Jeremy Spun. When she comes back from Miami, yeah. Like like astrology, do, do you guys remember John Rich had a tweet once about how his fiance was like charging the crystals or something like that? Oh, yeah. And like Under she made him like go up because they weren't charging well enough. He had to go up on the roof. I'd be like, this is nuts. Yeah. Like that would that would be, I'd be out on that. Like, mm -hmm. again, I know his fiance, congratulations. But if that was early <laughs> in a relationship, I'd be like, I'm not, this is crazy. I different strokes. Different yeah, strokes. Different strokes. I, I did a couple's crystal healing uh, before. How was it? And I had to vibrate like parts of my body with like a crystal. In, which part? In my, what, tell them which part. The root of my cock. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> Yeah, it was the red chakra I was <laughs> realigning. <laughs> That's so right. tight, dude. And, and my that dog probably gets that makes sometimes. it seem like I couldn't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you believe what you want. All right, <laughs> uh, Jay. Uh, yeah, my, wait, hold on. Is this the Miami thing yeah. still? Or? Miami versus uh, yeah, Miami. Uh, astrology. Yeah, yeah Miami. Miami. Uh, Rudy, it's 3 to 2 in favor of Miami. <laughs> it's uh, For me, it's not so much about Miami. I just have this weird desire. I just want to lock horns with an astrology chick. I'm fine with astrology. I want to butt heads. I want to get in the arena with them. I want to fucking deal with a witch bitch. I, I mean, it is like, I guess, loaded. a healthy type of like, like I do like, I like to bicker. You know, I, th I think a little back and forth is good. Like it's a pretty healthy bickering. Mm, over yeah. Uh, like, uh, is astrology but important? It that? depends if she can take it or not. Right. Like, well, like, I did have one. I was like, you got to be able to take a joke. Yeah. If you're rolling with smoke. <laughs> you got yeah. to have a thick skin and not literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm going, I want to, I want to engage with an astrology chick. I want to get in that arena. Yeah. So Tommy, how many women are on this earth right now that you would date? Give me a number. I mean, they have to live in New York city. They have to be between like date date, they have to be between twenty five and twenty nine. Whoa, twenty five for you? Twenty four? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Twenty four, I think maybe twenty. I mean, sure, if she's super hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably like it's probably around a thousand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the eight million people in the fucking city. <laughs> Ten, one thousand. You would date. That's crazy. Uh, Tommy, what was the thing you did that one time where you were like, "I'm in the top one percent of bachelors"? That's not that. I said no, no. I said I was in the top fifty thousand bachelors in Manhattan, which we ran the number. It's it's like for sure. For sure. No, yeah, I would I, believe I, that. I would believe that. Uh, now we have the energy drink. Uh, All of us oh. in this room. Masculine energy drink versus um, being mean and being proud of it. Uh, being a proud meanie, uh, Tommy. The mean one. The energy drink thing. I mean, yeah, you are a fucking freak, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I think I'd ra That's a red flag for guys too. I think if you, if yeah, no, agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wack, don't talk domestic, until I've had my nos. Like domestic assault, <laughs> domestic assault in energy drinks yeah, is probably oh. like very <laughs> high. Hand in hand, that's what fuels. Yeah, you know, that's what like, fuels What it. type of girl is do is drinking? An off brand, and like again, to an me, I think what's like in my head is like, I think, oh, Red Bull girls, hot, like, and that's just that, that I'm just like, oh, that's fine. It's Celsius girls, yeah, Celsius girls, hot, but we're talking like, yeah, if she's drinking fucking we're NOS, weak. or and I also didn't go with the mean, I mean, that's, that's just like, the mean one, really. I'd rather if a girl drinks, I'd drink, okay, if she's mean to me all the time, <laughs> that'd be a little bit worse. Uh, Jack, I would not be able to get over the energy drink, mm -hmm. like, it, but I think it's more personal <laughs> for me for whatever reason, but. Mean I can deal with like uh, it's it's I can use to my advantage, uh, but mean yeah I have to go for the dozen. I will say uh, I forgot to really put mine in that I wanted to win. Which one? 
uh, being liberal. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she's glib. <laughs> we, like, that's my number one red flag. Uh-huh. But, yeah, but no, uh, thanks, guys. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. Uh, <laughs> here, fight. Slide on over this one. Okay. Take the big boy chair. Um, okay, so pro- the energy drink versus mean girl fights. Put you on the spot as you're transitioning uh, seats. I think I'm going to have to go with, on this one, um, the mean girl, because... The energy drink, while it would honestly probably bother me more, I can internalize it. Mm. I can deal with my own problem. Uh, I have to explain away your meanness to a lot of friends and acquaintances and people we meet. And I have yeah. to apologize for it, and that becomes my problem. I think you're And also- then explaining it by just being like, yeah, she's just mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, what? And I, it makes me have a lot of hard conversations. Whereas I can just in my head be like, God damn, that's so fucking weird. Why is she drinking that? Yeah, but then imagine if like you rolled your girlfriend's meeting your friends for the first time, she comes in just drinking <laughs> fucking nuts. I I, I weirdly <laughs> uh, allow it if she smokes as well. Mm, smoking, yeah, that if, she, if, she's got a, if she's got a cigarette yeah. in one hand, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, she's just a piece of shit. Uh, neg- double, ne- <laughs> yeah, double negative. I'm with you on that. Cancels it out. <laughs> uh, Nick, it's mean. Yeah, being mean uh, sucks. Mean isn't. Yeah. It's yeah. Mean sucks, dude. It's not nice. That's for sure. <laughs> the opposite, even. Uh, Jay. <laughs> Energy drink. That, <laughs> it, it just, that that's such a weird first impression. So that that would certainly be a red flag. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rudy. Yeah, I'm with Jay on this one. Like, I'm picturing like. We're going on a date. We're going to putt-putt, and she pulls up with a prime. That would just fuck me so up. This happened exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to you. What That's you too about, specific. Bro? <laughs> I'm going to see this play out. I'm going to go with Prime. I'm going to go with the energy drink one, and that's going to go up against the, the frequent trips to Miami, Rudy. Is it the finals? To go into the finals. Okay. <sighs> Rudy, you up. Um, there's just something so insidious about the energy drink. I, 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 ca- I cannot overlook it. People like Miami. I like Miami. It's got to be Prime. Miami's got to be great for you. Although you might be bottom of the food chain in Miami. That might be one of the few places where you're the small fish in a big pond. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. But sometimes you get a little nibble. <laughs> <laughs> Jay? You could be getting cheated on by someone way better looking than you, in way better shape than you. Or she could be having a very manly drink. <laughs> I'm going to have to go energy drink. <laughs> yeah, he swayed me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, three for the energy drink. Fights? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hot easy. girls go to Miami. <laughs> the hot girls don't drink fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> energy drink uh, in the finals. Uh, on the other side, um, first the bragging about being a bad texter versus the chameleon personality, Tommy. Oh, bragging about being a bad texter. And, like, again, to me... If you're actually a bad, like, if you don't respond, this isn't like, oh, you don't respond to my text for a few hours. That's fine. Like, like, there's probably text on my phone right now that I haven't responded to because I'm busy at work. That's fine. You can get busy. I'm not, like, I actually think it's, it, I don't want to, like, be texting 24-7. I think Same. that's bad. To me, it's just the outward bragging of, like, here, hello, I'm not going to respond to your text. Like, like, that yeah, to yeah. me is just, it's sort of, like, probably indicative that they like where they probably like to play games you know like that that to me it's more of like the oh i can't respond yet yeah. blah 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 and then you know not for me mm-hmm. fights this is a tough one um i I'm, i lean with tommy where it's the bragging because i i hate texting but i'm actually probably a better texter than how i talk about it would lead on um the chameleon personality, chameleon personality. That's a tough one too because you kind of have to know it. You have to know a person. It can't really be a red flag because you have to know them beforehand to even notice that it's a thing. Um, So I'll go. I'll go texting as a as a red flag. Texting, Nikki. Saying you're a bad texter is, in my opinion, just a lie. Bad at texting. uh, It's so it's such commonplace. Um, Going with that. Isn't that the Troll Withers te- uh, tweet, right? He doesn't have one like that where he's like, she's not bad at texting. She's just bad at texting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Trey. Yeah, exactly what Nick said. Bad, t- bad texter. Texting is going to move on, but Rudy? Yeah, the, it's specifically the bragging about it that's in, that, I, that I can't get with. Yeah. On the other side, using uh, internet slang in real life versus not having any hobbies. Rudy. <sighs> not having any hobbies. Just You're like is, barely is, human. 
Yeah, I just I find that to it would be how do you have a relationship with someone who has nothing you can't in, interesting to offer or talk about? Agreed. Uh, Jay. Yeah, the hobbies is just wild. Yeah, mm. for exactly what you said. Nikki. Yeah, that's it's it's you can't have a relationship with somebody if you're not there's no like, give and take or teaching or I yeah you can't uh, no hobbies no hobbies. Well, is no hobbies or what? Uh, the TikTok and internet slang in real life. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go TikTok slang. TikTok slang. <laughs> uh, uh, I would go TikTok slang too. TikTok slang too. I mean, I guess I'll vote in, pl- in place of Jack Mac for these ones. Um, but it, wouldn't that? It'd be, what th- it'd be if three. It, to, if we're tied up again, and flip a coin. Uh, the TikTok slang <laughs> one, I think you do find out earlier. Yeah. But like, if you asked her on a, like a first date, like, what are your hobbies? Like, nope. <laughs> like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't got a single one. It would be yeah. striking. But what are you into? Nothing. Imagine that first date. Yeah. That's such a hard question though. Like if someone asks me what my hobbies Exa- are. That's what I'm I, saying. I'm like, ah, I don't know. But like like I yeah, I don't know. Like, you don't ask me like, what are your hobbies, you say like what are you into or something. Yeah. You know what you know what I like? Good good first date question is like walk me through your typical week. I think is like a, I like that. Like what it's like like a, in, like a, a work Monday, interview. Yeah, yeah, it's like but a, like a Monday is like what do, you, what do you do? Like what nights you go out, you know, what are you gonna do at night time? Like I I've, I've never been on a date in my life and this is why I'd be so bad at it. Mm. Just like the question or not like, like a, a like true that, first date. Like if you were like, what do you like? I, Cause I'd be like, well, it's too braggy to say that. Or it's too like, like not even too braggy, but like it makes it seem like I'm more into it than I actually am. So like, if you like, what's your, what, if you ask me to describe my regular week, I go, uh, I wake up at eight 30, go to work, come home, watch TV. <laughs> yeah. And I do that every week, every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm sure I do plenty of things in between, but like I, I would only say that. I guess I'll stick with hobbies then. So hobbies, no hobbies versus being a bad texter to go into the finals or bragging about being a bad texter. Tommy. Texter. Texter. Fights. Or I guess I'll vote. For, I'll vote hobbies. Uh, texter. Two for texter. It was a very pause, uh, unsteadily delivered one. Mm. <laughs> I'm going uh, no hobbies. No hobbies. Two to two. Che? No hobbies, I think, by a lot. No hobbies, three to two. Yeah, I'm going hobbies as well. Yeah, I think I'm glad that one won, even though I voted for the other. Yeah, no hobbies <laughs> versus drinking energy drinks. <laughs> oh, fuck. The bigger red flag. What if that's oh, no. their hobby? Drinking energy drinks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a scary human Well, then being. they're probably a Red Bull girl. That's yeah, in true. Which case. They, do they even drink the energy drinks? I think they just represent them. <laughs> uh, yeah, they probably don't. Yeah. Probably so we'll today. start with you, Rudy, for the finals. Energy drinks versus having no hobbies. You know where I'm going. This it's one the chick drinks broke your heart. <laughs> must have just doing out of putt putt. Out of putt putt, drinking nos. Uh, che. The no hobbies thing is so hard because, like, how do you get? How do you find out like what they're even into? Like, I guess it would happen organically, but I think for the purposes of this bracket, it would be the most jarring thing to see her rolling up with a rock star, like a <laughs> giant energy drink. So I'm going to say that. A big fucking can. <laughs> uh, Nick? I think I could get past her being caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling with uh, no hobbies. No hobbies? Yeah, I'll go no hobbies. No hobbies, two to two. Uh, rats. I guess a vote for no hobbies. Tommy? Uh, no hobbies or energy drink. Energy drink. <laughs> Fuck, we're tied. <laughs> All right, it ended in a tie. Good one, boys. <laughs> Let's see. We could just end it as a girl with no hobbies besides drinking. Besides energy drinking drinks. energy drinks. Yeah, I think that's pretty Fuck good. It. That's the winner. That's <laughs> a the winner. girl that only drinks, only likes to drink energy. That's drinks. the only thing she's into is drinking energy drinks. Yeah. That's the winner of episode bra- uh, or bracket episode one hundred and nine. Uh, <laughs> Babe, turn off this movie so I can finish this. Not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you stop with your model train so I can drink my fucking vault? Uh, that's that it. movie's distracting me from this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the episode. We'll be back next week, and we'll bring uh, some of girls from the office on, and we'll be doing the opposite, and we'll be doing. Big uh, I'm out for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you guys next week.